observations first I can see that these marks here indicate uh, the use of a stock head gasket because it uh, sorry tap it pan gasket because it leaves a particular pattern with the lines in between and also you notice that just after washing because all I did so far was to just wash the head just after washing there's no uh, abundance of silicone all around so that's always a good sign indicating maybe this engine wasn't touched too much if you take a look at the again this is just after washing all these journals cam journals look really 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 good really shiny and polished and of course I did not work on it I just washed so far Okay, there's a little bit of unusual wear in this particular journal, but this is the only one I'm seeing that that sort of evidence with. Uh, let's look at the deck. Oh. Again, we've seen some signs here that um, this engine perhaps was it's completely original without even being shaved. These markings here again from a stock head gasket. And you can also tell when the head hasn't been shaved much because these channels right here, the oil return channels are quite deep as they are. Of course, the bar indicators here, I could always measure to verify, but it seems to me as if this head has not been shaved either, which is really, really good. Also, if you notice inside the chambers, there's no marks indicating that debris was ever knocked around inside here. The only imperfections I am seeing are casting related. So while it may most probably was a relatively high mileage engine, it was probably stock and um, see the amount of deposits on the exhaust valves uh, so probably stock and never opened the head was never taken off for servicing or for shaving or anything like that in all likelihood which is kind of rare given the age of these um, engines there is variation in airflow across from number one port through number four port that um, in stock form is easy to get away with, but when you tune in, you have to pay special attention. You can just tell the fuel related deposits vary from number four. You've seen a lot of, a lot of black deposits on so number three, a little bit less, number two, a little bit less, and number one, you hardly seen any of those black deposits. So it definitely increases as we go across from number one through number four. And that is strictly uh, related to uh, what the manifold does and how, um, how the airflow is managed coming into the 
intake manifold and of course into each intake port. Every single head that I've worked on. Um, in my estimation, I've done well over uh, somewhere between 25 to 35 of these 40, 63 heads over the years. So, um, lots and lots of data. So, I have all dimensions of stock casting and all the dimensions that I want to get to for stage one porting. So, I'll follow this. Make sure these dimensions are transferred onto this gap. Alright, let's go. 